kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on mini quiz app using Firebase in Android Studio. Okay, so in our previous part of the video, I showed you the introduction, and then we created the project. So now, in this video, we are going to use the Firebase, and we are going to create the project on Firebase console, and then we uh, we will attach the uh the firebase project with my android application okay so let's get started so here you need to add the project and let's say the project name is mini quiz and let's change the location to pakistan because i am in pakistan right now and let's click on create project and now the project is created now so here we will add our, our the android application so just click here and there uh, they are asking for the android package name so let's go to your build.gradle and this is your package name just copy it and paste it here and let's name it as mini quiz app and click on register app so after that you need to download this google-services.json file and add it in your android studio project so now let's cut it and let's open your project then go to your project view then inside your app you just need to paste it okay so after that let's make it android view after that you just need to click on next then you need to copy that and paste it here inside your build.gradle after that you need to copy this and also you need to paste it in your build.gradle in your dependencies and also yes let's make it compile and let's also copy that and paste it here all right so you just okay so now go to build.gradle and after this j center you need to add maven and here you can say url https maven dot google dot com ok so now you just need to click on synchronize now all right so now the face uh, the firebase is successfully integrated with the android project so from there you can see just click on skip now and now there you have the app ready so now go to develop and there you can now use the authentication the database and this the firebase storage but we will only use this database okay click on database and from there you need to click on real time database click on create database and here uh, there are two options start in locked mode and start in test mode so we will select start in test mode and click on enable all right so now we have the database ready 
but we will manually add the questions and their answers to uh, this database okay so how we can do that there is an option of export json and import json okay so we will create a, a json file and then we will try to import it so for the json file let me show you so here we have the json file there are 15 questions already there but we will try to have only five questions okay so let me or uh, four questions all right so let me remove all those questions okay so before that yes okay i don't need the file all right so let's remove all the questions all right so now it is easy for you to understand the json structure so first of all we have the questions json object after that we have this one and here is the question then option one two three four and answer similarly two three four okay so we have four questions here all right so i will just save it and let's go to firebase and click on import json then click on browse and from there inside your download so you can open these questions okay and click on import so as you guys can see that the data is imported successfully so from there you can see there are four nodes of questions so first node here okay this is the question then option 1 2 3 4 and the correct answer is 1 0 2 4 kb then similarly we have all these values okay so now what we will do is let's go back to our android studio project and let's try to first of all include the messaging dependency because we will be using the firebase database so here instead of core let's replace it with database and click on synchronize now all right so now it is easily and successfully integrated now let's go back to your layout let's make it relative layout and let's remove it okay so now that we have already connected the firebase with our android studio project okay so now guys in our next part of the video we will try to create the layout file and then we will be doing the man activity dot java work after the videos okay guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye